Hey guys, this is Galactics Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get more views and subscribers, like I did in one of my other videos. Uh, I made a video on this topic before, but I'm remaking it, partly because when I first made it, I had 3,600 video views in total, and now I have over half a million, and partly because that video didn't make any sense, and I would like for you guys to actually understand what I'm trying to teach. So, let's begin. First off, we're going to start with your image. There are certain factors that come into play before people even click on your video. One of them is your username. Now, I'd say about 50% of YouTubers have either numbers in their name, or they have letters separating their main name. Now, these names are not bad in themselves. In fact, some of you might quite like these names. But look at the top 100 most subscribed YouTubers. Barely anyone has numbers in their username except for these people who I've never even heard of. But most popular YouTubers have catchy, iconic names that are easily pronounceable and easy to remember, such as PewDiePie, Smosh, Jenna Marbles, ERB, Machinima, etc. Now, I know what you're thinking. But all the good names are taken, magical YouTube person, and uh, that is somewhat true. I mean, there are about a billion YouTube accounts in the world, but it's not really difficult to come up with a new, unique one. Basically, a good way to come up with names is to think of your two favorite words and combine them. Bands tend to do this as well. For example, Owl City, Lonely Island, Led Zeppelin, Rooster Teeth, College Humor, and if you can get away with it, try and use only one word. For example, Pink, The Beatles, Machinima, Shane, Dawson. Some people also make up names specific to what their videos will be about. So like Galactics Tutorials, Toby Games, uh, Epic Mealtime. Now if you already have videos on your channel and you have a crappy name, then you can just simply change the name people see while the uploader name stays the same. Or you can just change your Google Plus name and upload from that. But if you want to see if your username idea is taken, then here's a great website for that. Um, the link is in the description. Now your username is not all people look at before subscribing to a channel. They look at your icon, your channel background, intro and outro, etc. But I've made videos on all those topics, so you can look at how to make your channel and your videos look cool in the description down below. But now we're going to talk about the real reason people subscribe to you or share your videos, and that is content. Basically, before starting a channel, you want to know what you're going to make videos about. Now, I know 99% of you are going to say, I want to make gaming-related videos, and while that's great, YouTube definitely needs more of those, uh, I suggest you also take into account the other video genres such as vlogs, sketch comedy, cinematography, voice acting, parodies, music, highly colorful powerpoints with accompanying commentary, talking about other people's videos, let's plays, animations, reviews, tutorials, makeup tutorials, tutorials that waste people's time and make them very angry, and AMVs. Yeah. Once you figure out what you want to make videos on, now you're going to have to figure out what's going to be in your videos. A great way to figure this out is by making a script. Scripts are useful for keeping videos short and on track. They also help you organize your thoughts. I usually use scripts for making my videos. Um, if you're making a Let's Play, you probably won't use a script, but I recommend at least attempting to talk about a certain topic while you're recording because it prevents you from falling into that awkward silence mode that makes most gaming channels a boring wasteland. Make sure you're recording your videos with the proper equipment. This is highly important. No one wants to watch you record a vlog with the camera held in the wrong way. Or watch you play COD through your iPod's wonderful, wonderful video camera. Uh, I've made videos on how to record on many different platforms and formats, such as Windows or Mac computers, and even your Xbox or PS4. But please use the proper equipment. Cameras are for real life, and screen recorders are for games and random computer junk. It is also important to remember that you need to edit your videos. No one, believe me, wants to watch two hours of unedited video about you derping around in Minecraft. Not only is it boring and long, but it's also just dull to look at. Any video editing will do, even Windows Movie Maker. Just make sure it's at least at a watchable length, like 1 to 15 minutes, and you cut out all the dull parts. A lot of people don't realize this, but certain videos require you to have a silent mm. background. No one is going to watch your tutorial mm. or look at your vlog if your brother is blasting music mm. in the background and your dog is barking at the toilet. 
Granted, some videos could gain some comedic value with random interruptions, Moo. but most probably don't. Moo. Now, once you've made your video and have uploaded it to YouTube, your work is far, far from over. You have to get what is called video traffic, or in other words, views. Now, you could get like 5 views on your video and call it a day, but most people are only satisfied with tens or even hundreds of thousands of views. This requires some work on your part. A good start is a title. Generally, you want the title to be accurate, but there's no harm in making it sound a little bit more interesting. Uh, also, if the video is part of a series, you might want to include the series part at the end of the title, because many people aren't going to click on the video that has like 15 previous ones relating to it. Next, you want a cool thumbnail. You could just pick a screenshot, but if you want real video traffic, then you probably should go to Google Images or something and throw on some text with GIMP or Photoshop. The better the thumbnail, the more views it gets. Now here's the most importante thing that you will ever learn for getting views on YouTube. To get a lot of views, you want to make a ridiculously long description and have insane amounts of keywords both in the description and in your video tags. Basically, when you search for something on YouTube, the search engine looks for two things. One is views and advertisements on the video, but two is keywords in your tags, but primarily in your description. That's why you should always write your heart out whenever you make a video, and if you don't, well, have fun collecting all those views I'm sure you're getting. Now, here's the last part for getting more video traffic, networking. Now, networking can consist of many things. Primarily, it usually occurs on social networking sites such as Tumblr or Twitter. Uh, you upload a link uh, to your video on one of those sites and your followers or friends will watch it and spread it. Make sure though that you are also spreading the video on your personal accounts because there you already have a pre-made audience of friends and family who are already interested in what you make. It is also important to remember to connect to other YouTubers of the same genre and the same amount of views or subscribers you have. Here you can ask other YouTubers to give you a shout out, which is basically like telling their audience to look at your videos and you offer to do the same for them. Uh, you could ask them in their comments, but I suggest sending them an inbox message. If they don't respond back, don't pester them, it probably won't work. Now I'm not going to talk about partnerships in this video, but if you want to learn more about them and maybe get partnered with a company like Social Blade or whatever, then you can watch one of my videos right over here. But they don't really significantly increase video traffic. They usually just create a easier way for your videos to get advertisements and for you to create revenue off your videos. So now we're gonna talk about subscribers. There's really no specific way to get subscribers, but as someone who has over 6,000, I'll tell you what I find that works. Uh, video schedules. I personally don't have a video schedule. I upload whenever I can, really. But that's actually a good thing. If your viewers don't know when you up, you're going to upload your next video, then they'll most likely want to find out a way to be notified, and that's sort of what subscribing does. By being random, you force your viewers to subscribe to you. Isn't that just great? Uh, if you're really twisted, you can say you'll upload videos weekly, but actually make them whenever you feel like it, and rake in the subscribers out of pure uncertainty and anxiety. People also like it when you answer their comments. Ignoring your viewers might be easy, but they sure as hell don't like that. So whenever you get the free time, it's best to keep in touch with your viewers by responding to their comments. I should probably be doing that right now. People also like YouTubers who don't spam them with dumb feed messages. For example, I really don't care if you respond to 500 comments, like 600 videos, and subscribe to 33 channels in the last two hours. I just want to see your videos. So to turn off all these annoying notifications, and maybe save yourself some subscribers, go into YouTube settings, then click on privacy, and check keep all my liked videos and liked playlists private. Also keep all my subscriptions private because no matter how popular you are, nobody cares. So that's pretty much it. If you want to know more about how the YouTube analytics system promotes videos to get you even more views, then check this video out right over here. It's a great explanation by Matt Pat, who talks about how PewDiePie became number one on YouTube. Uh, by the way, thanks guys for 5,000 and now 7,000 subscribers. I actually got a couple hundred more subscribers make while making this video, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, considering I don't even upload that much. Uh, and thanks for that, I'm, I'm starting a new series, sort of, called How 2.0. 
Pretty much I'm just remaking all my shitty older videos that are either outdated or didn't make sense to begin with, and I'm making them way better. Also, one last tip, it helps to ask your viewers to like, favorite, and subscribe at the end of your videos, uh, so go do that, and if they don't, well, either way, I'll see you guys next time. Beat time.